request Dr. Manoj to felicitate our chief guest with a shawl. Dr. Aravindan Salvaraj to present a small token of love to our chief guest, Dr. K. M. Sherian. <laughs> With immense pleasure, I invite our executive Dr. Deep Shan, Dr. Sundar, and uh, all the cardiology teachers and professors, delegates. Uh, a very good evening to you all. Uh, first of all, uh, I warmly thank uh, uh, Dr. Cherian sir who has uh, come on in uh, traditional attire uh, on his uh, grandson's birthday. Thank you very much sir, thank you. And I thank uh, Dr. Anantraman for reminding uh, me that uh, I'm a practicing orthopedic surgeon and a gold medalist in orthopedic surgery. So what I'm doing in a cardiology conference. So uh, one thing I realized in the short session I attended here, uh, seeing all the accomplished uh, cardiologists uh, performing the procedures, uh, I would have never become a good woman in uh, India at that point of time, in the uh, late 1990s. But uh, down the, uh, now in 2025 20, years, the advancements in uh, orthopedic surgery uh, have not been significant. In the last at least uh, uh, five to seven years, I can see that uh, uh, the joint replacements or orthoscopic surgeries, the choice of implants technique, uh, except for the possible benefit from the robotic knee replacement, uh, all the things that have been standardized. But when I, every time when I look at a cardiology procedure which is happening in Kaveri Hospital, I am uh, amazed, baffled many times, how much advancement to the significant. Uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, improvements happening in cardiac sciences. I was uh, speaking to uh, Dr. Sandeep uh, briefly, who has come from uh, Birmingham. Uh, so I asked him, is there anything that uh, you do in uh, uh, United Kingdom that we are not doing in here in Chennai? Uh, he told, no, you do much more than what we do in UK. So we are, uh, uh, as far as this cardiovascular group is concerned, we started as a small 30 bed setup in 1999 in Trichy. And then uh, we have grown to now 2,500 bedded uh, hospital group uh, with 11 hospitals spread across uh, uh, eight locations. Thank you. Since the beginning itself, uh, 2003 or 4, uh, the cardiac sciences have been uh, the, our, uh, the number one primary uh, super specialty departments in the cardiac group. I deliberately underplayed my own orthopedic surgery department also because I know that uh, the cardiac sciences is going to be play the major role in our hospitals group. So when we started this like, uh, heart city, the exclusive uh, uh, 100 bedded uh, 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 the heart hospital uh, in Trichy, that was the first private hospital in South India to offer the comprehensive cardiac services. And we were the first one to do the open cardiac surgery uh, in uh, Trichy at that point of time. Of course, uh, from then we have moved on and uh, after coming to Chennai, uh, you tell me what we don't have from hybrid cat lab to impala uh, to uh, laser and then uh, now hot and line transplant and assisted devices. And uh, we were able to create this infrastructure purely because of the confidence that we had in the cardiac experts. That's why uh, we were able, uh, able to attract uh, the top international talented uh, specialist, uh, Dr. Kumal Dettol. Thank you very much, sir. So it is not uh, just the technology or infrastructure. Anybody has money, they can uh, invest in all this. But it is the cardiac experts who are driving the excellence in Kaveri. Uh, there's no doubt about that. There's a uh, yeah, technology or uh, uh, the equipments in the not in the right hands is not good for the patient. So we are very very fortunate, blessed to have all the top specialists performing the most advanced and complex cardiac procedures in this part of the world, which is on par or uh, better than many international uh, reputed centers. Thank you, and uh, as 
as far as this international cardiac conclave is concerned, I would like this to become uh, my request to all the post directors uh, that this should become a landmark event uh, in the cardiac sciences. And not only an annual event, this has to, my wish is that this is a platform for an ongoing collaboration where the specialists from all the hospitals, national and international, that share, share their expertise so we can learn from each other. So that is uh, my sincere wish. I'm sure, uh, I'm confident that uh, we have got the resolve and determination to take it to the highest level possible. And uh, I wish uh, this International Cardiac Conference a yeah, grand success and proud to launch the Heart Institute as well. Thank you.
So within a minute I could see about almost thousand people coming out holding white kerchief up that is surrounded. And immediately after that couple of uh, uh, choppers went in and that was the dissolvement of USSR. So I could see dissolvement of USSR and formation of Russia, I mean the Soviet Union. Gorbachev left and uh, so I had the opportunity to see all these. So this all came to my mind only because I am writing the autobiography. So this also will stay in my mind. Thank you for the opportunity. He is an adjunct professor to the Case Western Reserve University, Cleveland, USA. He is also an adjunct faculty at the Department of Biotechnology, IIT Madras. He also serves as the international coordinator for the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Glasgow in India. Not to forget, Dr. Rajat Mulasari is the founder of STEMI India, which is a purely not-for-profit organization that aims to develop STEMI programs across Getting especially from Dr. Chariot, my work with at Madras Medical Mission is a very special occasion. I think that at the end of the day, uh, we as professionals work in many hospitals and we work for the interest of science and patients. And I think at the end of the day, if we can excel and make Chennai as usual the center of excellence, which of hospital we are, I think that's what the aim of this whole uh, congregation and conclave should be training, teaching, learning, and deployment for patient services. Thank you very much for remembering the presentation. It's an honor. I must admit it was unexpected, but it's a, a great honor to be given this recognition. I started my career soon after my DM with Dr. K. M. Cherian in 1979. And I've known him for more than 40 years and I've worked many, many, many years with Dr. Cherian. It's been a pleasure, it's been a learning exercise and uh, I owe a lot to him in my career. Yeah. Despite being a surgeon, he's been a great support to a cardiologist. And uh, he's been one of the biggest trainers of cardiology professionals in India. In fact, every single cardiac surgeon Every single cardiologist in India, at some point or the other, would have some relationship with the center run by Dr. K. M. Cherian. And I'm proud to have been associated with it. Thank you, sir. I began my career with you and I'm proud to receive this from your hand. Thank you. And thank you. It's a great pleasure and honor to be recognized by the management of our hospital for the work that we do in the hospital. As uh, Dr. Ajit Kalasri said, we all keep working, we are professionals, we just keep doing our work with our patients. Interest is the most important, the topmost, and the next is we do our best to see that our institution comes up very well. And if I have done that and if I have received this honor, it's a great privilege for me. I thank the Calvary Hospital for choosing me to be honored here. But more importantly, I am moved because, as Dr. Raghavan Subramaniam said, I also started my career in cardiothoracic surgery in 1979 in Tarambur Railway Hospital, along with Dr. Gavrilis Subramaniam and Dr. Kaveshwar. I joined Kaveshwar and I got the opportunity, though I wanted to be a surgeon. And I have been immensely benefited by my association with KM Chenyan. And to receive this honor from him is a very great uh, honor for me. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Kaveshwar Management. Now, we have included three different sessions in this conclave. One is structural interventions, second is coronary interventions, and third tomorrow is dedicated to electrophysiology and electrophysiological procedures. And it gives a, an immense opportunity to share our experience, interact, learn, and relearn things. The conference brings together 11 cardiology, 11 Kaveri hospitals together I would like to extend my deepest appreciation to the distinguished course directors who have been instrumental in shaping up the academic agenda and intellectual landscape of this conclave. The leadership 
experience, expertise and dedications have undoubtedly elevated the academic content of this meeting which is well appreciated. The Kaveri Heart Institute has always been in the forefront for providing excellent and exceptional care to patients with cardiovascular disease with the best possible outcome with a high index of patient satisfaction. We were able to do that with the excellent support from the administration and from other departments like the marketing and, and the branding departments and all that the staff has been particularly supportive to the Department of Cardiac Sciences. And it is also our honor to have Patmashri Dr. Kane Charyan along with us who have graced the, this occasion. And we have given the appreciation award to the excellent academic work and the dedication and the mentorship which all the three awardees have shown in the respective field of cardiology. I extend a warm welcome to all the members who have gathered here to make this a great success. And as Dr. Arvind Sarbanaj has said, we are planning to make this an annual event in pursuit of excellence in cardiology and to get updated with the advancement of cardiology. Hope this will be an impactful course and will be a great learning experience. Thank you very much. Just two minutes. Okay.